Hi, this is Tony again from Gamma Vacuum. Right now I'm going to show you how to remove the pull piece from our small ion pumps. Anything from a 25S to a 45S to a 75S. I'm just going to do it on the 45S here and we'll move these out of the way. <clears throat> so, this is the pull piece and inside here there's a magnet right around the back side, right there. And in order to attach this, we use two M6 bolts that are located here and here. To remove, all you need to do is pull those bolts and don't answer your phone while you're doing this. right out. This one's actually attached because of the heater, but I did want to actually show that as well. <clears throat> there we go, there's the inside. And the heater is fastened to the bottom of the pump, so if you're actually going to be fully removing this, you'll have to remove from the other side the strain relief first so that this can actually come through. If you'll be removing the magnets at all, that takes a little bit of care, but they do just slide right out using some force. Just make sure that when you install them, the V here is going in the same direction. Let's put it back. Pretty basic. Turn that back the way it was. Make sure we get it in there nice and straight. Point, put your nuts, excuse me, your bolts back in, and off you go. And really, it's as simple as that. The reason why you might remove it, uh, pretty much the only reason would be if you're doing an installation and it's hard to get the entire assembly there, or if you're baking over 300 degrees C, you'll have to remove the magnets to avoid demagnet demagnetization. Other than that, you shouldn't have to do this, but if you do find the need to, hopefully the video has been helpful, and also if you need to, you can give us a call. Just go to our website, gammavacuum.com, and we'll do everything we can to help. Thanks.